Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. It seems as though Piers Morgan has been doing a fantastic job after all and his efforts have not gone unrecognised and allegedly he has claimed that the royal family have actually reached out to him to thank him for his, you know, open criticism and attacks on Meghan, which... I guess I don't know if he's just saying this for attention or if he's actually saying this from a real place but if this is true verified information that they did actually contact him for publicly calling out Prince Harry and Meghan Markle for their ridiculous antiques especially following and during the Oprah interview then it's a win-win all around. And I think that the reason why Piers Morgan would have been congratulated for his public efforts to really shine the light on the lack of morality of Meghan Markle is because we now know that this was causing a great deal of distress and pain and suffering to Prince Philip. Yes, to Prince Philip. And unfortunately, he has passed today. And therefore, they would have been extremely enraged at the time of the airing of the interview because we know for a fact that Meghan and Harry could have postponed the airing of that Oprah interview in light of Prince Philip being in critical care in hospital. That's what I really wanted to say. So I'm going to get into this article. And I think that, yeah, it's a great thing that Piers has been so vocal. It's definitely given people like myself a voice to share my thoughts and feelings and opinions. Because I think that freedom of speech, especially with this rising of the leftist woke people, it's under threat, essentially. It's, it's definitely under threat. This is by The Independent and it starts off with Piers Morgan has claimed that several members of the royal family contacted him to thank him for publicly calling out Prince Harry and Meghan Markle after their Oprah interview. And he said, I've had some messages communicated to me on behalf of several members of the royal family. The television personality told Extra TV's host, Billy Bush, one of several US interviews he has given since quitting Good Morning Britain. He added, I'm not going to go into who it was, but it was gratitude that somebody was standing up. Morgan's comments come after he also took aim at the royal couple in an interview with Fox News' Tucker Carlson, where the broadcaster slammed Meghan as the delusional duchess and accused her of making hundreds of millions off of her association with the royals while trashing the family in public. He said that he hopes that Harry recognises Meghan has a track record of ditching everybody and everyone and everything when they cease to be of use to her, which we know is factually true. She ditched her ex-husband, Trevor Engelson, and she ditched her best friend, Preeti, when they was of no use to her, when she felt as though she'd levelled up and she'd become a celebrity and she ran off you know, and she started working for Suits, in Suits, and she started, you know, pursuing this royal lifestyle. It all began with her pursuit of the Cartier French tank watch, which she purchased on her second season of Suits. And we know that that was all inspired by Diana, whose watch she now has. She inherited that through Harry. We know that she always had her sights set to move up in the world, but there's nothing wrong with being ambitious. There's nothing wrong with being driven. In fact, I, I'm quite impressed by people who are driven, who are able to move up in the world and exercise their knowledge and their intelligence in order to get to a better place and get to a higher station and be able to, you know, give their future generations a better start than they had. There's nothing wrong with that. But do you have to cut off people from your childhood and cease and terminate relationships with people who were in love with you, infatuated with you, just because you want to move up in the world? That's something that I definitely don't agree with or severing ties with loved ones like family members, people who put food in your belly and gave you the best education like your father. 
He spent his lottery winnings on Meghan Markle's five-star education. He ensured that she had the best. She was the most doted upon child of all three of his children because she was the youngest. And of course, her father felt sorry for her because Doria, for a large part of her childhood, was locked up for financial fraud. She didn't actually really raise Meghan because of her criminal antiques. Anyway, I've gone off on a tangent, but that's where I'm basically at with it. That's what I do not agree with. And I think that with all that being said, that's the very reason why Piers Morgan has been so vocal about criticising Meghan so openly. So I'm going to continue on here. My advice to Harry is make sure you remain in use. Morgan told Carson saying that Harry's principal use is being of royal lineage. The former Daily Mirror editor asked, could you trust a family member who immediately rings the anchor of a big American breakfast show? All to keep the pot boiling and making themselves talked about, which is ultimately their only currency. Otherwise, they're just another couple of celebrities on the huckster roll. Morgan departed Good Morning Britain last month after he faced a backlash for remarks he made dismissing Meghan's claims in her interview with Oprah. The Duchess had opened up in the interview about her mental health struggles and said she had thoughts of, you know, causing harm to herself during her time as a senior working royal, while also accusing an unnamed member of the royal family of being racist. The network received 57,000 complaints about Morgan after he said Meghan was lying about her experience speaking to Extra TV. Morgan referred to this backlash as an online mob that made threats against his family, including his children. He said, my wife's always been completely supportive about this, but she hates the online abuse. The idea my sons had to be targeted by so-called liberals in a way that was threatening to them and, you know, it was unfair to them is completely disgusting, he told Bush. Asked what he would like to say to Meghan if he could, Morgan said he would ask her to sit down for an interview so he could put some difficult questions to her. I would say to Meghan Markle, look, sit down with me with your husband for an equally long interview and let me ask you more difficult questions about your claims, Morgan said. And that is pretty much the end of the article. It's by The Independent. It has quite a few comments here. And yeah, I think that the royal family did indirectly reach out to Morgan, to be honest. After reading this article, I'm going to conclude that it's true. I'm also going to conclude that they have taken a lot of heat, the royal family. And because they are of a policy whereby you never complain and you never explain, they are heavily reliant on voices, public voices like Morgan, maybe online critiques like myself, to really say the things that they want to say and to really, you know, call Harry and Meghan out on their rubbish. Especially in light of today's news, we know that that interview with Oprah pushed the royal family over the edge. And it's resulted in the Duke not making it to his 100th birthday in June, which everybody was looking forward to. We all wanted him to meet that milestone. And unfortunately, he didn't. He's had such poor health. And I really think that the actions of Harry and Megsy has pretty much put the final nail in, you know, the relationship. I don't see them coming back from this. I do not see them being able to recover their public image, especially when they could have postponed the Oprah interview as they knew that it was going to cause an extreme great amount of distress to the royal family and especially Prince Philip, who at one point considered Harry to be his favourite grandchild. Uh... It's sad and it's tragic that it's had to play out in such a public way, such a humiliating way that has left most of us flabbergasted to say the least. I've been flabbergasted from the moment they started this to now and I don't think that they are going to let up steam. I really, 
just want them to see the light of day. But I don't think that even with the unfortunate news of today, that they will really realise what they have done, the damage that they have essentially caused. So with all of that being said, take care of yourselves, check in on your loved ones, because these are trying times, and I will be back with another video. Bye guys.